So we are going to try to have as much questions as we can. Uh, now we just have a few days preparing for our exams. So we are given uh, this typical question that we have. Uh, if x is equal to minus 3, we are given the value of x, which is minus 3, uh, and also the value of y, which is equal to 4. So that is what you're given there. Find the value of, from this part, you are going to find this value. This is just a substitution that you are supposed to do into this expression. All right, so that's our 3.1. We are given x into the bracket of 3x plus 4y like this. All right, and x is given as what? x is minus 3. So wherever there is x, we are going to put minus 3. That's minus 3. Open the bracket. This is 3x. 3x means what? 3x means 3 times. That is three times the x that we are given, which is minus three. Then we are going to add, what are we going to add? Four y, what does it, this part mean? Four times, four times y. The value of y is given as a four. So this is four times a four like this. Then you close your bracket. All right, so this is what you're going to do. Remember that if this, uh, is under a multiplication, you can combine this to a single term, a single number. You can simplify this to give us a single number again by multiplying these two. So this is negative three into the bracket, three times negative three. That is going to be a negative nine. Plus, then you're going to do the same four times a four. This is going to give us a positive 16. So that's what you are given. So in this case, you can even simplify what is inside of the bracket uh, before you expand that. What is inside of the bracket, that's negative 9 plus 16. If you're adding, you're going to obtain a positive 7, same as 16 minus 9. And we can multiply this a bracket negative 3 times. It means negative 3 times a 7. And that's a negative 2. 21 at the end. So this is how you can substitute given uh, this type of a question. You can just simply substitute whatever that you are given uh, straightforward to them, uh, to the to the given part that you are having or like to the expression that you are given there. All right. You substitute or you put in the values that you are given. That is to substitute, to put in those values that you are given the value of x and also the value of y. 3.2, simplify again, this is to simplify. All right, so there I talked about this situation where you are given a term, a term, a term. Three terms that you're given, they can be even four terms, they can be two terms, but over a single term divided to only a single term. How can you simplify this? So this can be separated, all right? That's 3.21. Whenever you see this, you separate the first term to the denominator, this one also to the denominator. Every part must be separated to that. So that means we're going to take 6x to the exponent of 3, all right? Everything over 2x. So that's over 2x. There is a plus, yet take note there's a plus. So you're going to take 2x to the exponent of 2 over this and considering the sign that we are given. So that's 2x to the exponent of 2 over the same 2x, the denominator. Then the last part is the plus 4x. So there we have got a plus 4x over what? The same 2x over 2x. So this is what you are given. From this, we can simplify each and every part that we have here. We are going to simplify each and every part. Uh, remember what I said before, that uh, the simplification even, you can consider this, guys, to say, okay, this is 2 and 6. You can divide 2 into 2, that's 1, into 6, which is 3. Okay, there we do not have a problem, just, just a 3. But you just consider to say these x's that we have here, they are 3 x to the exponent of 3 means there are 3. Just like x times x times x, there are 3. Over x. So this will cancel and you remain with all men. There are two x's that you're going to remain with, which are multiplying. So that's x squared. 
two x's that we have. So it's just x squared. The same thing, there's a plus there, the two and the two, they're equally the same, so you can cancel. Here, there are two x's that we have. Divide to this one, so this one into these ones, which are two, how many will remain? Only one x will remain. Just like x times x divided to one x, it will cancel to one. Only one x will remain there. All right? On this one, it's x and it's x, they cancel each other. So that's two into four, which is going to give us a two. So that will be a plus two like that. So please do revise also your, your, your normal uh, algebraic terms just to, just to just go through, okay? Even your exponents, it's fine. Just go through everything, all right? That's to prepare for, for exams. You, you, write, you revise everything. 3.22, again, we're given a bracket. They simplify, but you, this is a bracket. Simplify 2x into the bracket of 3x plus 1 minus x into the bracket of x plus 3 like this. And that is 6 max. Okay, what are we supposed to do? Here we're just going to expand the brackets, all right? The first bracket is multiplied by, because there are two brackets. There is a bracket of 3x plus 1 here. There is a bracket of x plus 3 here. So what affects the bracket is, remember I, remember I said, it is this term outside of the bracket, this one. This one, outside of the bracket. So the first bracket is affected by 2x. 2x is supposed to be distributed throughout. You multiply it here, you multiply it here. So let's multiply. 2x times 3x, so it's 2 times 3, which is 6. x times x, remember that's x squared, okay? 2x times 1x, anything times 1 remains as it is. So this is just going to remain as 2x, okay? Then we move on to the other part of the bracket, this part, which is multiplied by negative x. So you multiply by minus x, the second bracket. So this is same like minus one. There's a one x here. So you're gonna multiply minus one to a positive one. So minus times a positive, that will be minus one. X times x, that's x squared. So minus one x squared is same as minus x squared. You do the same thing. The minus one x multiplies with the three. So it's three times minus one or minus one times three, that's minus three, but do not forget that there is X there, okay? Then you are back to the like terms. Same exponent, same variable, same exponent. So there is X squared. So meaning to say we can consider this as minus one X squared, this one. So we can subtract six X squared, that's six, minus one, six minus one, that is five. So that is going to give us five X squared. The part of X also has to be simplified. There we have got the part of X. These are like terms, same exponent. So this is just two X and this is minus three X. These are like terms also to be considered. So that's two minus three. Okay, that's minus one. So it was supposed to be minus 1x like this, but minus 1x, remember I said, is just same as writing it as what? As minus x, okay? So these are the typical questions that you might expect to have in your final exams. Like this, you are done. You cannot do anything from there. So this was a 13 mark question, total 13 marks. This was a typical exam question. So do so, revise as many questions as you can.